Greetings and salutations, my good friends. This is obviously Light Liger here, the one and only. And today I'm going to be talking about this very interesting and also exciting project on Ethereum called Unistake. Normally when I hear the word uni, that's when I start running usually. But after looking through their light paper and their whole concept of this project, I truly see that they are doing something very proprietary, something that hasn't been done in the space before, and they have maybe created a new niche inside the DeFi, which makes me very excited about this project and what they possibly could do and change the whole ecosystem about how we provide liquidity and make money out of it. And it also needs to be said that there's been an audit done for their first smart contract. They actually have a couple of ones in the making. The next one is coming out soon, according to the developers. And I also do want to remind people that this is a paid uh, review of the project. And I recommend everybody doing their own research and getting a second opinion about the project. So in this video, we're going to be going through what exactly is Unistay. We're going to go being through their light paper and also the sale that is up and coming. So to put it very bluntly and in a short manner, it's basically providing liquidity and staking at the same time as they tagline it on the main page. So you have multiple revenue sources where you can make money because the problem with providing liquidity is obviously one, impermanent loss. Number two, not possible, uh, you know, transactions happening on that pairing. So not a lot of trading fees. So there are inherent problems providing with liquidity because there is risk involved. By having multiple revenue sources through that, by having that staking mechanism can really reduce the amount of risk involved. And that's what we're going to be exploring in this video. And they have their ISO ranked tree happening in three days and 11 hours as I'm making this video. They already done two of them and that is a really nice way to allow multiple people to come in board. They had pretty nice grassroots, um, you know, growing up so far in the scene. So it makes me very excited about the project because the enthusiasm is there from many people who have participated on the previous rounds and there is no minimum investment so you can put in like dollar worth of ethereum invested into the project if you want to so no minimum buys which allows it to be very accessible for multiple people and basically, um, as I said already, it is built around the Uniswap version 3, uh, 2. And basically, it allows people to deposit um, their LPs and also stake at the same time. So there's three different revenue sources people can actually leverage in their systems. You have the traditional system. And then you obviously have the pool share, which enables people to provide liquidity of the selected token without need to have the both of the tokens. So let's say I want to provide only Ethereum inside, I can do that. And then they have thirdly, um, the multi-stake, which allows you to provide liquidity of three different assets into creating multiple revenue streams to this, which makes me very bullish about that. That seems a very cool model. So you can choose any of these three models to basically implement. Um, they also got things that are coming out, such as yield search, which is making, making yield farming basically simple, allowing people to find all the necessary data of yield farming, basically, and automate a lot of that process that goes into it. And there is a lot of things that they are building, and those are going to be looked in a bit of the light paper we're going to be taking a look at in a second. And there's lockup periods for teams who are going to be participating through the system. And there's initial stake offerings that any project can do. And this technically um, is a lot better service when we compare it to, you know, Trust Swap or Lit Protocol because the staking has a lot more caveats to it, which in my opinion, based on my readings, I haven't obviously done all the look into the codes themselves, but by, by from the get-go, it does seem a lot more trustable actual investment to be made uh, through staking because there is a caveat into the making people stake for a time period. Also, the other mechanisms basically make it out so that rug pulls are basically impossible. And there's automatic listed. The code is also trusted. That has been vetted. So I guess we can 
uh, look at the contract. So the ISO contract is already out and that has been audited. Um, the audit is here done by Adis Bejic. And basically this has been, you know, it's all audited. This guy has done other audits on other projects in the past, such as Neo. Um, he also did, what was that other PAMP network, I believe, was also audited by this person. So he does have some type of a, you know, trust in the space. So that is a good, I'm recently become a very big favor of audits. And usually I, when projects approach me and they don't have an audit, I usually say, I'm not going to do a video on your project if you don't have an audit. And audits are not, some people say well, they're too expensive. Not really, guys. I mean, when you raise a lot of money, as I said, Unisake has already raised 2000 Ethereum on, on, on the thing. But let's look at the actual light paper. So here's a lot of the details we're going to be looking down. We're not going to go through absolutely everything. Otherwise, this is going to be a 30 minute video. Uh, one, one other good sign is it's 21 pages. Usually, bad white papers around five pages. Uh, anything that is good is usually above 18. So uh, that's also another very good sign about the project. Um, but let's kind of like go through the actual thing. So here they talk about that people are torn between the chance of earning dividends through staking or receiving trading fees by providing liquidity. This is a one problem that ex actually exists. Another one is obviously, is LPs better than the actual trading fees on the pools? Uh, there are many things that you have to kind of like accumulate and look on the yield farming, which is very risky. And I think these type of staking systems can probably provide a lot more safer investments in future, um, as long as you're going to be investing in good projects. And basically, Unistake is doing that. They're offering staking service in top of the actual uh, liquidity providing that is happening on Uniswap. And here's a picture of the interface. We're going to be looking at that in a second as well. And here's the liquidity options we talked about, the multi-stake, the traditional, which we see with two tokens, and pool share with one token, which is something that Balancer, for example, uses. And I'm a big fan of the one token model, but when I'm going to be using uh, Unistake, I think I'm going to be going with the three token model. Um, and here it goes into the liquidity staking options. And here's a bit of a screenshot of the multi-stake interface. Here's the traditional interface. And you're going to be choosing actual the day period. And that is going to be one of the key functionalities of this thing, where you have to bring the liquidity there in the pool for a certain period of time. And this kind of provides a good system where people are not just pulling it in and out and doing rock pulls every goddamn second. So there's actually time for which the actual um, funds are going to be locked in. Um, you can find more about the days from the official channels and pools and, uh, you know, admins will tell you a lot more about that. And I believe the projects themselves uh, can choose how long the staking periods are going to be like. I think you can set up one day even. I'm, I'm, I'm going to confirm that from the actual owners. And the profit sharing works is that when every time that somebody... Here it says the revenues are generated every time a user in stake or withdraws their liquidity through a 10% fee that is charged on the profits that user made from trading fees and staking dividends. So when people are going to be dumping or exiting, we will be getting money. We will be getting divs. And that's a really good system which enforces huddling a lot. So you're going to be putting there for a year even if you're that bullish. And you will be accruing all of the dividends when people are withdrawing their funds and taking in their stakes. So, it, you know, it enforces inherently for people staying in and having that liquidity inside the pools. That is also good for the traders who are using those pools and is also great for the dividend holders. Um, and then there's the yield farming, yield search, which is not available yet. Uh, this one also could seem a very interesting thing in the future. And obviously, the liquidity is act more attractive to this service through the fact that you can get a lot more to the staking rewards that are going to be happening on the platform. Um, then there's the launch contracts where people or the projects can launch their token through the ICO. And that allows, you know, people to get into the board initial staking offering, as it's called in 
And this also, as I said, this is already audited, which is very good and reassuring. And that may, you know, lead certain projects, you know, participating on the system. Uh, because, I mean, it will attract legit projects for sure. And people are probably more interested in investing because they know that they're going to be using a smart contract that has been already verified. And this will basically make it impossible for them to perform exit scams. Um, I think there's a bit of a caveat there that um, I think they they can't pull the liquidity out. That's that's how I understood it. And there is there's a section already. We're gonna look that in the second. There's time distribution contracts also. So you're gonna be distributing um, the tokens after a certain pound of a time or something like that. And here's all the different options and individual percentages. These are very interesting mechanism. And a lot of, you know, as I keep saying to you, there's a lot of details and nitty nitty, nitty gritty aspects to this whole contract and ecosystem. And it does take a couple of reads on the light, light paper to fully get what's actually going on and to fully understand the aspects and the mathematics behind the project. I don't even fully understand it yet because there's so much information here. And that's that's usually a good sign because then it tells that there's actually thinking gone through the project. And also it is uh, autonomous, uh, autonomous project. So um, everything is executed automatically by the smart contract. And it, the ICO is going to be edited, paused, or canceled by anyone, including the original developers. That's another good thing. Obviously, it has some downsides to it in case the uh, ICO, they launch a wrong contract that has an exploit on it or something like that. But it is a very reassuring, in my opinion, however. And it's also 100% open source, so all the codes are there. And there's already one third-party audit which I already showed to you guys. And I'm sure that they have already mentioned to me that they will audit other contracts once they are out. And there's also the the comedy driven aspect here goes into the actual rounds. So I was wrong. So there's three rounds and this is gonna be the last sale that you can participate on. And this is um, you know, a good thing, as I kept saying, that there's multiple ways where you can enter to the actual thing and purchase the tokens. And also, what else do we have here? Functions, token listing. Yeah, we could talk about a bit of the tokenomics here. So here it kind of goes into the actual spec speculation of the price. And permanent liquidity deposits. So this uh, means that um, basically when the, the liquidity is programmed into the ISO contract. So... When the liquidity is deposited, it's almost so permanently locked up, meaning that once deposited, the liquidity can never be removed by Unistake or any other party. This is a, this is a especially important process to build confidence within the community of a project. And that makes me very bullish about the project in general because you have this caveat here, which I kept mentioning. I just forgot the phrasing earlier. And... The, the, this is what I talked about earlier about the whole system of hodling. I kind of like having more hodling projects, to be honest, these days because I don't know when to exit with these yield farming projects. It's very hard to determine the actual dates. And then there's obviously automated staking. So um, the supporters can accrue between 50 and 100% of their token holdings, staking bonuses over a six month period of time, which is split quarterly over the term. Supporters can end their stakes and withdraw their tokens at any time, but by doing so, so will mean for future, for, for fate, for fate of some or all their staking bonuses. So the staking bonus is also a very interesting model. And let's go a bit into tokenomics. The maximum supply is 280 million. And basically, there's also a burning factor into all of this, which another very good sign to the project. And the allocation is the first round has 20 million, second 40, and the, th the third one is going to be 0 to 60 million. And there is also staking bonus allocation, which can be seen 10 to 12 million. On round two is 20 to 40, and on last is 0 to 60. And the team will be getting 5 million, which is around 1.78 to 2.47. And it's not much. 
obvious. So I think it's a very fair sum, but I think it's a very share, fair share of a cut to the developers. It's not really that much um, from the total pool. So I think it's a very fair launch altogether. And if you want to read it, you can read it yourself. And just a quickly, this is the actual interface where everything happens. So this is where the sales happens. This is the round two, round three. And you can log in with your MetaMask here. And there's also the funds that have been raised so far. How many supporters? 322 people have already entered. And there's a dividends tab and restakes, stakes. All of that is on here. But that's pretty much my rundown of the project. Obviously, if you want to learn more about it, you can find all the important links inside the description, obviously. Uh, now is probably going to be the good time to enter because the sale is happening in three days. So you want to buy because once they maybe hit the market, the price might go even up a lot more because people see the potential valuation of it through staking. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers.